Good morning friends and welcome back to Sewing From Scratch. I am Caitlin and this is where I teach you everything I know about sewing and we learn more together along the way. Today's video, not a lot of instruction, I'm just showing you my fabric stash, kind of what I do with it, where it goes, how I organize it, and what do I do with the scraps. Let's go. So what I have behind me here is actually all the fabric that I keep in my studio. So what you're seeing here is actually two rows back. So this row here and then another row behind. And I have my knits over here. This is knits and wovens and then wovens over here. So let's just go through it. It is kind of fun to see what other people have in their sewing rooms too, isn't it? So like I said, my stash isn't massive, but yeah, with Shelf Sewing September, it just really motivated me to not buy any more fabric. And I think that's going to be kind of what I do for the rest of the year, maybe even next year, other than pieces that I really, really need. Like I do need another winter jacket, so I might, um, be looking into the market for some wool coating or something like that but for the most part I want to just sew from my stash all right so let's start with the knits this is you've seen this in a thrift haul video again I will link every video that I mentioned down below in the description box it's kind of a stable knit kind of maybe a ponty or something a little thicker I have plans for this for uh, fall winter in terms of Sheridan all right, this is another stable knit that I got gifted to me from a local family. The lady who used to sew no longer can, so it got gifted to me. It is another stable knit, maybe like a, called like a Liverpool or a Bullet. I'm not really sure what those mean, but I think this would be another really good sweater or maybe even a pair of really cool looking pants. This is just some art gallery solid knit. If I have small like remnant pieces, but if they're big enough to cut a pattern piece out of, then I keep them in the stash. So this one's kind of questionable, but it would be good for kids clothes of some sort or color blocking or something like that. Then this is leftover from my Sheridan sweater I made in the winter. And I think it was January or February I made that. Uh, it is a Ponte de Roma from Blackbird Fabrics in this beautiful like forest green type color. Then I have some bamboo rider gear. That was from, also from the Sheer Perfection haul. I have, oh boy, it looks like somebody cut into this. I might have bought it like that. I don't know, I don't remember. But uh, skater girl panel, French Terry, Sheer Perfection more sheer perfection this is bamboo and it is their retro stripe i have a lot of this i don't know bamboo. if i'm gonna make a romper or if i'm gonna make myself a long sleeve shirt i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with this yet but probably will end up in the fall winter season more of the bamboo um rider stuff then we have more art gallery solid one of my favorite colors a little piece of purple french terry this is a knit as well, solid. I have plans for this. This is actually from the thrift store. That video was filmed in August, but it's not gonna come out till October. So if you wanna see that, hit that subscribe button so you know when it goes live. It's a huge thrift haul and I'm gonna get into more pieces of it too. This was athletic knit from Sheer Perfection. I made this swimsuit out of it and I have a little bit left. I think I'm gonna make myself some, maybe a sports bra and um, leggings or bike shorts if I don't have enough to do leggings. Some dusty rose pinky French terry, love this. Gonna probably be using it this winter. Some gray French terry. More rider stuff. Again, that's in the Sheer Perfection video. More rider stuff. This is a sweater knit I got at the thrift store. This is a stable, very, very stable knit. Very little stretch in this. This was gifted to me by my aunt. She was going through some of her fabrics and she's like, I'm never gonna use it. So this is about a meter here of this navy and white polka dot. Then I have a little remnant piece of this Sheer Perfection faux leather. It's like fleece backed. I made a pair of mitts with it that you might recall. I will link that video. I did like a mitt comparison video. So I'll link that below cause coming up on that season guys. Then there's like a bone luxe color here. 
luxe cotton lycra from the fabric snob if you're not familiar then i have a darker gray french terry i have quite a bit of this i think i'm going to use this for a cardigan for myself we'll see i don't wear a lot of cardigans so i'm not convinced that i'm going to make that yet tackle print from sheer perfection it's in that haul video as well more bamboo rider stuff tie-dye which was also in that haul and if you watched my last video with my daughter's leggings you know I used this fabric and then there's also this one with a bit of blue in it I have this pink and purple one and then this pink and blue one and my plan is for some of those to make I can't think of the name of the pattern but it's two sides it's like the it's split the fronts, so most people use the same fabric. I'm gonna use two different fabrics. All right, so then over here, I have just some more Lux. This I made my daughter's leggings out of two in this green color. These are all remnants, I'm gonna get to them in a minute. Have this fish print that is really just for muslins. I have some of this distressed camo left, some lilac French terry, so a little bit of this distressed denim look not actual denim it's just a knit denim whatever whatever you want to call it this is just a little bit of burgundy French terry leftover and then what do we got back here there's some anchors here again this is mostly for muslins little bit of navy this is also from that thrift haul that's coming up in October it's um, yeah again it's gonna be used for something for my Etsy shop a little bit of blue cotton lycra I have a teeny tiny piece of this tencel that was in my in the last video of my daughter's joggers. I have one panel here left of this art gallery pack. So that's it for the knits that I actually keep in here. And really, realistically, um, this is too much. Like this overwhelms me. But it is what it is. I gotta stop buying. And then. Well, I do have some remnants here. So these are the only reason that I keep small pieces or little remnants is if I have a plan for them. That's the only reason I keep them inside. Otherwise, I'll sh tell you what happens to them later. But these are small pieces that I have plans for. These flamingos, you might remember I made a dress with this and this ice cream print were supposed to be t-shirts or tank tops for my daughter or shorts or something for this summer. Never got to it. So I might put these out to pasture. I might uh, keep them in here, but likely they'll go out. And then next year I'll sew her size for then so that they're not too small. This, one of my very favorite prints here. And this is gonna, they're gonna go together for a Saldana, I think, or some sort of something and that's why they've been kept in here and you might remember like one of my very first projects was an Agnes dress that I made with these two gifted from the fabric snob then of course I have the blippy because I got this in a D stash and still haven't made my kids anything with it some pink to go with it some green to go with it some yellow to go with it and then I also have this rainbow this is actually a top that I made this was a Parker Peplum hack but um, I don't know it just doesn't I don't wear it it doesn't I think it's just too big in the shoulders and it falls down and it's very cropped this will just be something that I upcycle so I will keep stuff like that out and available if I'm planning on upcycling them too so now let's get into the wovens wovens have my heart if you know me you know that all right, this was also from that local family who she no longer sews. I used this to make my Phoenix blouse. I have a lot, I think I have like two or th even three meters of this rose double, double gauze, cotton double gauze from Sheer Perfection. This was in that haul video too. I have this striped fabric. I think it's linen or a linen cotton blend. It was a tablecloth that I got from the thrift store. So this is also gonna be upcycled and used in my shop. So is this wild one. I think, I think, I think I can find the right buyer for it. I, I'm thinking either like a loose pair of trousers or um, maybe even a jumpsuit if I'm feeling really crazy. It's a vertical stripe, love, love, love this. Very tempted to keep it for myself. Then I have this one, little cotton piece. Three of these similar, they have like eyelet lace in them. So there's like the holes. 
So I have a tangerine color, this fuchsia type color, and then this light pink color. Those are all from the thrift store. They're gonna be used in my shop as well. Have some green fabric. This was used for muslins. Then I have, I think this is like a tensile slub or something similar. I used, I had it for a client and I have some left over and I've been saving it for the perfect project and it just hasn't happened yet. More thrift store fabric that'll be in my shop. This was from that local family. I don't know what to do with it. I'm thinking some sort of overlay. It's very, very cool. It's like this window pane type look to it. So I'm just not sure what to use it for yet. If you have ideas for any of these fabrics, leave them down below. This was a thrift store fabric. It's a very, very soft. It's gotta be a natural fiber. It creases and everything. So I'm thinking a linen blend, linen viscose maybe. I'm not really sure, but it is very, very soft. Okay, this was also from that local family. It kind of coordinates with that other one that I made my Phoenix blouse out of. Not sure, I'll probably, like this is kind of an overwhelming print, so I might just keep it for accents like in uh, men's shirts or even for myself. This was thrifted. I have only a, mm, I don't even know if it's a full meter. I did measure this, but it's, I think it's hand painted. I gotta show you it. And yeah, I think it was like hand painted and then printed. If that makes sense. Very pretty. And it's a border print, I guess, so it's more, concentrated here and then the flowers disperse throughout you can see you'll see better in that video coming up but yeah really love that one it's for my shop don't know what to make with it then there is my hand painted bird this white linen was from sheer perfection and then I did potato stamping on it I will link that video it is like my favorite video probably and it has like very little views so if you haven't seen this one please go give it some love it's like amazing that I really still don't know what I'm gonna make with that I'm thinking some sort of dress that I can show off the whole print. Have some more double gauze from the fabrics, uh, from Sheer Perfection Fabric. This is, has like the splatters in it, sage splatter, I think it's called. This, oh, this might be my favorite fabric in my stash and I can't wait to make something up with it. I got this from Simplify, which I will also, I also have a video film for that and it'll be coming out in October as well. So Simplify Fabrics, this is my first time ordering from them. Very, very impressed with the quality. This is a cotton poplin and it is from Birch Fabrics and it is the Charlie Har Harper New Frontier and it is, yeah, organic cotton poplin. And I'm gonna make some sort of long skirt out of it, I think. So possibly a Jenna skirt modified to be longer. But yeah, I just really love this. More splash double gauze from Sheer Perfection. This one is in rust, which I love the rust color. This is some teal uh, linen. I made my Jenna skirt out of this that you would have seen in a few, a few videos ago. I also have a haul with all the linens. Um, from Blackbird Fabrics, so I will link that below as well. This is some bold denim from Blackbird Fabrics. It's also in that haul video with the, with the uh, linen. I made some Nolan shorts that unfortunately did not turn out. Well, they turned out, they just didn't fit me. Then I have this fabric that's been in my stash for so very long. I made my array dress with this. I will link that video below too, but this is what's left. So I think there's probably enough for like a cami or something. I just haven't got to it yet. This is also some vertical striped thrift store fabric that's for my shop. This is from the lot that my aunt sent me. It's like a meter of this frog print. Uh, this is thrift store plaid. It is, I think it's a wool actually. Um, yeah, it's not quite soft enough to be flannel, I don't think. I think it's a wool blend, maybe. I guess you could still, I, I don't know, do they still call it a wool flannel? Is that a thing? I don't really know. But yeah, I'm not sure if this is gonna be skirt or a button up for my shop or what, but it will be for my shop. This is what I use as a curtain when I'm filming in front of the window. Um, it's just a sheer panel, um, like sheer fabric, and it has some texture to it. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but it is very pretty. This was a thrift store tablecloth that I've been using for muslin. More thrift store fabric with this very pretty print on it. This is actually a vertical print. It goes down the length of the fabric. So I'm not really sure. Um, 
probably end up flipping that and maybe making a skirt or something for my shop. More thrift store fabric. This is like a lilac and it is linen, possibly a linen blend, but definitely some linen in there. You can even see the texture of linen. Okay, the last stack. <laughs> Okay, these were from stuff my aunt gave me, just some little pieces that I guess are stuck in there. I was gonna make some masks out of them if I wanted to. This is remnant from Simplify that I had made uh, gosling for my husband out of. You'll see that in my September makes video. This is also from my aunt. I think it's really cool. I think it is actually a sheet, but I'm actually thinking like a camp style shirt out of it. So then all of this is from my aunt. So there's some, solids and then just some other like small pieces of stuff in here and this one's really cool it's like a zebra print um this is like this is like a quilted front and i'm not a quilter but i might turn this into like a baby blanket more of that this bears i have quite a bit of this bears more solids animals more solids and then this Oh, another little solid piece. And then this is like a unicorn panel that my daughter has claimed and she figures we should make a blanket out of it. It's kind of like that with the unicorn and the rainbow. Okay, this is all, these two are also from Simplify. This is like a cotton uh, muslin and then this is, I don't know, <laughs> but I think this is the hemp one. And yeah, you'll see more about these in my makes video as well as in my Simplify haul, which is coming in October. This was from the thrift store. I believe it is a linen and it's like a powder blue for my shop. This is an olive linen. They are going to be Arden pants before spring. That linen is also in that um, Blackbird Fabrics linen haul that I'll link below. It's a little bit, this very pretty white flower. It's like sheer almost. I made my niece a little romper out of this when she was an infant and um, it, it turned out beautifully. So I think I'll probably do more of that. This did come from my friend. This also came from my friend, another cotton. This is um, was one of my babies. When my kids were babies, this was one of their swaddle blankets muslin. So I just threw it in my stash to make something out of. Who knows what yet. This is from my daughter's bed set. I do have a did feature that in like a makes video from, I don't know, March maybe? I'll link it below. Might have been February or April. Anyway, I'll link it below. I still need to make her. All right, this is also gifted from that local family. It's a cotton, very neat, different design. A denim from that same family. I don't know what to make out of this yet. I was thinking some jean shorts for my daughter, but you know, mama needs stuff too sometimes. This is also from that family. This is black linen from Sheer Perfection, leftover from my Yantas. I will link that video below as well. This my mom bought for me when they went to Newfoundland in 2016. Yeah, I think, I think it was 2016. So it has puffins on it, it's one meter, and I still don't know what to make out of it. My kids cut some places in it, so here like right in the center so I need to kind of um, work around that and I just yeah I just ha I want to make something that that I can have in my home for a long time or maybe a shirt or something well there's not enough for a shirt but yeah just something really meaningful I guess mind you now that I'm looking at it it would go with this black linen to make some sort of button-up shirt we'll see this was from a thrift haul. Wow, yeah, a while ago. I haven't used any of this either. Um, it's actually two cuts. And yeah, I will link that thrift haul below as well. And then this I bought like when I first started sewing and I knew nothing about fabric, so I don't know what it is. But it's like really drapey. And I had used it for, um, when I bought it, I used it for making scarves to sell. And then I used it when I started garment making it to make this little coat, it was the lining of the coat. And I still have quite a bit left, so I'm not sure what to make out of it. It's really, really flowy and beautiful. And yeah, I'm just not sure yet. Okay, so that is all the fabrics that I actually keep in my studio. Again, I am overflowing right now. I have too much because I went on that Sheer Perfection fabric haul and I, or Sheer Perfection fabric spree as well as that thrift store fabric spree, which is supposed to be for like, business sewing, I just haven't done it. So I really need to crack down and like 
figure out what the heck I'm doing with my life and get that done. So I do have fabrics out in my garage, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So then when I'm cutting out fabric, um, all the small scraps and stuff get put in this basket, which you've seen in multiple videos. And then once the ba basket is full, I go through this and I, and I separate it into usable scraps, what I call usable scraps, which are like at least the size of a pocket or for knits, if I can get like underwear or something out of it, then I throw that in a separate pile and then small, small scraps that are really only good, f like say like this, that gets put into separate bags and those are saved for stuffing for if I ever make like a poof or stuffed animals or things like that. And that's all kept in the garage. So this one I just showed you like doesn't really look like a lot, but let's go out in the garage and I'll show you the rest of it. All right, we are in my garage. Sorry for the echo and the lighting, but this is a shelf that my husband built me for um, sewing stuff. So it's very disorganized and I've pulled a few things down to show you, but that bin is scraps and then that's like, I don't know, just other stuff. Those bins are clothing that I need to sell that I've made. And then all these bags are like scraps of stuff. That wheelie bag there, duffel bag, is full of usable scraps in there. And then down here, I've pulled a few things, just like there's some loose things that of course fall out of stuff and whatever. This was gifted to me from a neighbor. It is like an upholstery type of fabric and there's quite a bit there. Don't know what to do with it. Um, more scraps. This is like de-stash stuff that I've been trying to sell. So, I'll probably end up keeping it or whatever if I can't sell it. This is another this is another one of those duffel bags and this has fabrics in it that um, are just like out of season or that I have plans with for later. So there's swim fabric in here and swim lining. My husband needs me to make him something for work with that. And then I have some other tops here that need to be upcycled. Just more fabrics that I have future plans for but not immediate. So that's kind of why they've been stuck out here to save up room for inside. Oh, and then in the front, there's just like project things that didn't get finished or whatever. And then in here, this is another little duffel bag of projects as well. Most of this is stuff for my, my son's bedroom when we get to it. So I have like, we're doing a baseball theme, so I have a bunch of baseball stuff. I think actually all of this is, yeah, baseball stuff for his bedroom. So there's that. And then some PUL scraps there. And this side, this side is, oh, some curtains that need to be upcycled. So that's kind of it for out here. It's a lot, like it looks like a lot and I really need to organize it better. So I actually wanna put it in some tubs and I need to get to using my scraps, which I'm going to be doing this weekend. So there's the end of this video. It kind of was just to show you my fabric stash and show you that um, it's maybe not great to have a fabric stash if you're, I don't know, it depends what kind of sewing you're doing all the time. But my goal is to not really have a stash of fabric and just kind of have plans and all of that. Yeah, anyway, that's how I kind of keep it somewhat under control and I just have it up in my little cubby in the room here where I organize it kind of by wovens and, and knits and then I can just grab or search for what I'm looking for. My studio is not complete yet so when it is I'll have like drawers back there that are going to house my all my fabrics and I can't wait. That's kind of hopefully the November project so fingers crossed that that actually happens. Thank you so much for staying to the end of this video. No PS with Kate today. I am in a rush. We gotta get going. So uh, I'll catch you in the next video. But I just wanted to let you know that my last PS with Kate was really, really downer and like negative. Things turned around, the, like I filmed that in the afternoon and then that evening things really turned around. So um, I don't know. I don't know if I was putting it out there or if things just happen that way, whatever. I am in a much better mood. My house is caught up on and now I gotta put away all this fabric. So I will catch you in the next video. Bye.